Hi there, uh, guys. Welcome back to learning microcontrollers. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can make a wireless sensor using PIC microcontroller. So let's begin. Uh, we will have two boards. One will be the transmitter board. On the transmitter board, we will be having a PIC. You can use any PIC, PIC 16F, 18F, 16F, 778, 18F, 46200 or any PIC higher than this. Uh, I am using a 40 pin PIC, so the pin configuration of 40 pin PIC is as it is. We will be using cheap RF modules, cheap radio frequency modules available everywhere in the market. They are very cheap, very easily available. Let me show you. We will be using this transmitter. They are very cheap. They are available, very easily available and very cheap. And this will be our receiver. MKX35 volt, very cheap and easily available everywhere. So you can get it. So how we connect it? First, our aim is we will be sending LDR readings wirelessly to the PIC microcontroller. So LDR will be connected to the PIC and we will be sending the readings to our laptop. And uh, this module have three pins. The transmitter one has three pins. One is a ground, one is a VCC and one is a data. Uh, ground pin will go, to, the data pin will go to the pin C6. That is also called the TX pin, pin number 25 of the uh, PIC microcontroller, 40 pin PIC microcontroller. And VCC will go to the 5 volt and ground will go to the common ground. Similarly, rest of the PIC's ground will go to the ground. And then we will be having an LDR sensor. We will LDR has two legs. Let me show you how we can connect an LDR. We need a 10K resistor. We connect power indirectly to the LDR using a 10K resistor. And the other leg of the 10K resistor will go to the LDR. And from the same point where these connections are made, we take our output. That will be the pin A0, means I will be using ADC channel number 0. And the other pin of the LDR will go to the common ground. That's all. And now let's come to the receiver side. At the receiver side, we will be having the 5 volt receiver module, cheap receiver module, and a CI340 USB to TTL device. USB to TTL device have like 6 pins, ground, RX, TX, 3.3 volt, VCC, and 5 volt. We only need 3 pins. So first pin we will need is the ground pin. Ground will go to the ground. Data will go to the RX because it's a receiver. And VCC will go to the VCC. Leave the rest pins as it is. All right, let's begin our coding. All right, guys, here's our IED opened. Now we start doing coding. Go to File, New Project. Click on Standard Project. Write the name LM Learning Microcontroller Wireless Sensor. I am using PIC 18 F4620. Select that. Select the crystal, 16 megahertz, which I had connected. And then click Next. Now first we do the coding of the, uh, only there will be one code that will be with the transmitter, other side is the laptop. If we have two pick, we are sending pick to pick, then we need to program both sides. All right, here we go, let's start coding. The first thing we need, we need a library. We first select our libraries. The library we need is the UART, we will be sending ADC, we will be doing ADC conversions, and we will be needing a UART library. So that's it. It will be a very easy and a simple thing, but people get confused, so that's why I'm trying to help you out. So first thing, we initialize a UART, UART1, INIT, that will initialize a UART port, and we forgot to give the baud rate. Give it baud rate, any baud rate that you prefer. I prefer 1200 because it's wireless communication, not wired communication, so it will be good. This will give us more range. Let's lower the baud rate, higher the range. Give a safety delay of like uh, 250 ms, that will be fine. Next thing we need is to initialize the ADC module. ADC initialize INIT, give delay, delay ms 250 will be fine. Now we go for the forever loop, while one. What we will be doing here is that. Uh, we will be reading, first we need to create an INT on which we will store the read readings, INT, uh, read 1, the value of LDR will come to the read 1 or you can write it better, LDR 1, any in integer will do, LDR 1 is equal to ADC read from channel 0, 
this command will be do good give some delay so we don't get an m60 we need to give some delay for the wireless communication to clear the tx register or the receive register before sending the next reading so we give a little delay like atms will do good all right sorry i always forget to save and the good thing about this new id is that id is that it asks for saving on auto lm wireless sensor one all right let's give it a atms delay all right now we will be sending our reading uh, we will be receiving our reading next thing is since as i told you in my previous video as well we can't send our reading directly over the uart channel first we need to do some conversion so for that purpose we need this conversion library go to the conversion library we are using an int we need to convert int to char char so here it is int to string you open this and you will get your command you simply all right here we go this one will do fine this is a command all right here we go we take this command and we will be using it all right paste it here the first thing one is the one to be converted ldr1 is a value we are receiving we need to convert it to the string and in what it is to be converted we need a char uh, i prefer a three digit reading so i will be giving like uh, LDR, LDR C, C means converted, value of like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 or 3, 4 digit value. Okay, we will be getting a 4 digit value maximum. 0, 3 can store only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 digit. So write it down, LDR C. That's fine, give a little bit of delay. Like 50 MS will do fine. Now our coding is complete. It's a very simple code. It will send the LDR reading. What this code will do, it will take the LDR reading, it will send the LDR reading at a baud rate of 1200, and we will use our receiver to receive the reading. That's all. All right, now burn, let's burn this code. All right, here we go. I had connected the PIC with the circuit. It's the same circuit which I, which I showed you. I connected in the same way. You can see that. That's LDR. And this is our transmitter. I'm using jumper wires to give it some height. You can also connect an antenna if you have any. This is our sensor and the other one is here. It's our TTL to USB device and it's a receiver. The same connections I showed you. So it's a transmitter board. Let's burn the code. All right, go to file. First, go to tools, check the connection, the device is connected or not. All right, picket tree not connected. Let me see. Okay, it found the burner, found picket tree. All right, import. All right, let me select the microcontroller first. Keep on asking for saving it again and again. Give it two this time. All right, give it one. All right, let's do it. What the heck, man? All right, pick it in F4620. Here it is, sensor. Let's again fetch the file. All right, write. It's writing the file. Uh, guys, I am coming back to the coding. We made a terrible mistake, like see, we initialized everything correctly. We forgot to send the value using the UART terminal. 
You can see that I forgot the UART TX hydro command, UART write command, so we add it as well. As I told you before, I tell you my mistakes intentionally, so you guys can you guys don't make the same mistakes. So simply copy this command. What we have to send? We have to send this value. So we write it, write in it, it can send the values as it is. UART write and we are not sending a chart, we are sending a text. UART write text. You can, I will give you this code as well. You can simply burn it as it is, simply doing the connection. It will be easy for you for learning purpose. So now that the code is complete, we did made a terrible mistake, but that's normal. That's normal, all right, the code burns, or I leave this one. I don't know from where this came from, but it's irritating me a bit, a lot. All right, here we go. Now the code seems to be complete. Let's check it one more time before burning. Now let's burn this. All right, it's complete now. We are sending a UART file, write. It's writing the file again. All right, guys, here our code is being burned. Let me show you how it works. Uh, here we have our hardware. Let me show you. That's our transmitter connected to the PIC. This is our receiver. The same receiver I told you. Here it is. They are not connected with wires. It is connected to the UART device. See, it is already reading receiving. That is called noise. It will keep on receiving because it's a cheap uh, RF controller, but it will do the task that we want to do. All right, now let's connect it. Uh, let's go to tools, USART terminal. Uh, that's our USART terminal. Click it. Uh, clear, connect. Let's see what we are getting here. Uh, let's hold it up. See, we are getting our readings as we must get. Our coding is working correctly. Let me show you how it is correctly working correctly. You can't understand it like this. Take a look here. All right, let's clear it. 990, 994. Let me place a finger on the LDR. Now, it had dropped to 946. It's working, it means. Let me remove the finger. How much is it now? 930, and again, it reaches the same values. So, what is happening is that, don't get confused by these random values, it's called the noise, this is a cheap controller, so you can't get these values on the PIC microcontroller, the only values that you will get are your readings, like you will get this reading, then after same delay you get the next reading, and then after some delay you get the next reading, this one, and then after some delay you get the next reading, 990, then you get your next reading, 990 and 991, let me place a finger, now it will lower down, 5, 958, 942, let me remove the finger, uh, see, you are getting your readings on the delay, what happens is that you get a reading, disconnected, see here, you are getting a reading, after that, you get another reading after some delay, like here, then it fetches a reading here, then it fetches a reading like there, this is because of distortion, noise, then it gets a reading, but when you do the coding between two, this is basically due to these delays, we are giving the delay, but this UART to TTL device is very fast, it keeps on receiving the data, and that data causes this stuff. See, this device is still receiving. It is receiving different random data all the time. Whenever we are giving a delay, it delays to the PIC, not to the device. So since this controller don't have any, this uh, is a cheap module we are using, very cheap. So it will not do that good, but it will do your task, because when the only way to remove this noise is by using the coding. In the coding, we do not give any value to area. If we receive 990, we will code it that turn on the bulb, turn on the light. If it is greater than 990, turn it off. Rest of the value will not be read by the pick at all. Because the receiver of this, there is a comparator which will only receive, it has a small comparator on it. It's not a microcontroller. On the corner, there is a comparator. I think you guys can see it too. All right, you can see it on the internet as well. There is a comparator IC right here. All right, let me show you. All right, take a look here. No. That comparator. This is a comparator IC. It will only allow the reading that we need to be taken. 
And the only readings we will get are what we need, the LDR readings, that is here. So guys, I believe you guys learned something from this video. If you have any problem or any queries, you can simply post it in the comment. You can take the code from me. And is there anything else I can do? Please do tell me in the comments. So have a nice day. Goodbye.